All right, we're picking up where we left off after placing the nacelles, and I just want to go ahead and add a little bit to this vertical tail here and show you how we can make this fairing without getting too complicated. So if you want to, you could technically add a second part here to blend into the tail, and in some cases, maybe that's what you want to do to try and get the surfaces to play nicely together. But for what we're doing, let's go ahead and just break this vertical tail up into two component, or two sections rather, and we're going to model this as just a highly swept section and then leave this piece as is. And the way that we're going to do that, again, just as we did with the wing, we're going to go to section and split. Now, keep in mind, this is a 27 foot span. We're going to split it and we are going to bring this span down to something like, oh, seven feet, perhaps a bit too much. Maybe we'll do six and a half. So six and a half feet, and now for this outer section, we want 27 minus six and a half. So that puts that back where it should be. Now, while we're here, I want to go ahead and recapture this line on the back. So here in section, we can come back to section one and start tweaking our tip cord until it's where it needs to be. And you can see that for our purposes, it's looking like this Secondary sweep at the trailing edge should be about 12 degrees because this is going to start changing how this back edge is shaped once we make this root cord really long. Let's just go ahead and force that to be constant. We're going to make this 12 here. We're going to go to section 2, take out the tip cord, make this 12. All right, so when we come back and start playing with this root cord, this should stay about the same. Now we're gonna to have to add root cord and then shift everything. So we're gonna play with this a little bit. Let's drag it forward in X to say here, come to section and now we're gonna add sweep. And we're gonna to have to give it quite a bit of sweep to make this work. And we probably want something in the neighborhood of, oh, let's call it, about 69 degrees looks pretty close. Back to transform now. We're gonna go ahead and eke this forward just a touch more, maybe at about 90.5 feet. And then what we should be able to do here is just start cranking up the root cord section until we hit right here on the back. Let's call that maybe no, not quite, maybe 31, 30 and a half it is. And now, you see we've got our secondary sweep set to 12, root cord, tip cord. Let's just check this. See, it went and updated this secondary. You wanna set that back to 12. So now we've got our shape from the side here all lined out, but because our airfoils are all set up in such a way, if we jump to our front view, notice that this thing is really thick right now. So we're going to go ahead and bring up our front view. I'm going to go ahead and scale this back to where I know it lines up with this drawing. I'm going to modify this just briefly. All right, we're good there. We're going to go to our airfoil tab. And just as we demonstrated before, we're just going to back off on the thickness here. That's about 8%. Section one, we can back that off to something like 15%. And if we click off of there, yep, that looks pretty good. So there, if we select all and shade, maybe give our engine nacelles a nice color like a red, is our transport aircraft. Now, that's how we can simply model a transport style aircraft using just a handful of components and a three view drawing. You can do this for a variety of different vehicles. You can do general aviation aircraft, you can do rockets, satellites, cars, you name it. Chances are you can put a parametric model of it in VSP if you really want to. So using this as your basic framework, you can get started in modeling even more detailed and more complex geometries in VSP or you can use this as a simple baseline, parameterize the sections and components that you want, and then you can start iterating and trying to make it better.
So this is really common for things like university design competitions or trade space explorations. Uh, you know, sky's the limit. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. This will get you off the ground and ready to go in your basic modeling. For more detailed instruction, you can absolutely refer back to the ground, stool, ground school in some of the uh, more detailed explanations. They're all broken down by subject and more content is trying to be added all the time. So we'll see you guys back there.